Hey, hi friends. This is Shraddha, and welcome to my channel called as Early Learners and Right Brainers. Okay, so today's topic is going to be maths dot cards. No maths dot cards. Okay, the hot topic and. Everyone says that my child doesn't like dot cards, but still, there are so many dot cards available, and someone else's child is able to do it, and then why not my child is able to do it? I also have the same feeling like yours, and I have realized that the child or the children are always fascinated with the flash cards that are of pictures, and they do not like the word cards, and they do not like the dot cards. Even the word cards, they will at least see because it is. it is good maybe but for the dot cards they have some problem and they just do not like to see so with my child i'll just give you a glimpse like how he sees at the dot cards so i am showing him the dot cards i'm shraddha and i'm going to show him the flash card like that and this is me like i'm acting my baby or uh, kiyansh so he will be like he's doing this and i'm like i am telling everyone about right brain and my child is also not interested in dot cards then i really thought about all this like really is it important to show the dot cards then of course as for the books that how to teach math to your child glenn domen has confirmed that it is very good and all the stuff but also i want to mention that the program initially was created for brain injured children then it became a success for the extra like the normal kids and they become super extraordinary but the idea of making children learn something which looks a red dots on a, a randomly scattered on a piece of paper may interest a child or may not interest a child but somewhere i feel they are listening this is my personal thing okay so my i started my dot card journey when my child was 8 months old and now he's 15 so all these days not even a single day i have seen that he has shown any interest apart from 10 cards so if i'm showing him from 20 to 40 he'll be excited for 1 to 20 he is not excited so for 50 to 60 he is not excited so some of the dot cards he is excited some of the dot cards he is absolutely not in, uh, excited so i try to do lot many things like i try to you know first show him the picture then the dot then the word everything i have tried but i have seen that he doesn't like it but i feel that why he is not able to understand it why he is being like this then i just observe the other moms who are from the facebook groups and have their own facebook channels and uh, instagram channels i saw that their kids are nearly 3 years and they have been very enthusiastic and they have also mentioned that when they were kid they never liked dot cards so i have a hope that maybe when my child is little and older he will like the dot cards but because i do not want to waste this time or i do not want to you know uh, let go the dot cards that i have purchased what i do is i show him one dot card then i show him one object then i show him uh, another uh, similar object or i just show him a one letter like that i do so every time when i am showing him dot cards i first flash them and then he is not interested after two or three cards and i'm like okay fine no problem but then what i do i show him one card at a time like one this is a one so i'll show him at least 10 to 20 seconds he will like it sometimes i'll show him two flash cards like uh, two dots he will stare at it on the third he will absolutely not look at it so attention span is only for two cards that's okay then what i'll do is i'll show him two objects and i'll say this is one and this is two one plus one two that's it so i try to use the available natural stuff in in the nature that is available as a mathematics session for him so what i want to convey to all uh, moms is that see when you want to teach your child maths it is not only dot cards see everything that glen domen says or sishida says or hegru says it is a theory and it is of course practically proven but it is clearly mentioned that every child is unique so every child has their own way to learn things so if your child is not enjoying dot cards it's not good to force them but you can obviously relate that dot cards to something that is physically available see every child has a different way of learning and we do not know what it is even when they are born 
or even if they are our, our children so what we need to do is we need to give an environment that is good enough with lot of mathematical problems that we can tell them on a day to day basis like this is a one katori or this is a one bowl and then we can say see in the dot card also it is it is one dot or if it is, if there are 19 dots you can arrange 19 balls and you can convey that whether they are anticipating whether they are understanding whether they are uh, really thinking that we cannot know but we have to believe that okay this is going to come or going to help in long run so in hegru and sushida what they have mentioned is if a child doesn't like the dot cards think of what they like like for example if a child likes car create one sequential car like uh, a series like 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is left to right see our eyes read anything from left to right so arrange 10 cars on a paper like you draw 10 cars and see if your child is liking that that is how every every school is trying to uh, innovate the mathematical mathematical teaching i would say so if your child doesn't like dot cards it is okay you can show different way of mathematics like you can show 10 car- cars or two cars and you can draw those cars and you can create an interest for them you can flash it as per as per your choice and how how much big the uh, the symbol should be it should be big enough like 3 inches or 4 inches so this is how you can do it if the child is between what 0 to 6 months and you are trying to show the maths dot cards i think it is quite cool they will obviously look at it and they are going to enjoy it but for the bigger kids trying to you know you know make them sit with you just because you want to show the maths dot cards it's not worth it so it's better that you create innovative ways you can create small small puzzles and from that also you can teach them like a triangle so there are three sides so three sides when you say the word three you can show the three dot cards see you have to be very innovative so you have to just think of it like how do i incorporate this dot cards in my day to day life and when you do that i am sure your child is going to like it so once again for math dot cards it's best to follow not just the dot cards but everything that is available in the nature in the environment to teach them maths because if you see maths is available everywhere in the world and in the nature everything works in a mathematical principle so it is like you cannot restrict something on dot cards you know maths is vast you can just elaborate you can just innovate but this is not the case for the words like words you can show on on like uh, suppose there is a cardboard and there are 10 words written you can say that even i can show that see but that is going to be a complex activity for the ch- brain for reading purpose you can uh, use the flash cards because they are going to be the best a uh, way to create a impression your in your child's memory forever like if you show a mummy spelling the mummy spelling will be saved as it is without the m u m m mugging up like the way we did so this is a benefit of flash cards but at the same time if dot cards are not working with you you have to you have to be a little open like in my case also i have the hungry brain dot cards and they are very expensive i also know that but i thought that maybe they are a for size they're big enough he is going to enjoy it he enjoys it but there are days he doesn't look at them there are days he will look at them there are days when i have to innovate and there are days when he will just sit in in those flash cards and he wants to just look around them so you have to be a little bit open when it comes to dot cards and over the time if they like it then it's good if they do not like it then you can always resell uh, resell those stuff and you can make something better for your child and always remember always introduce dot cards only between 0 to 3 years please do not try to attempt to show them the dot cards after they are 3 plus because once they have understood 1 plus 1 is 2 when they can see the objects that you know i hold one cup and one cup is in my another hand the brain already knows there are two quantities they don't know whether it is a two or whether it is a uh, whether it is called as a two or whether it is called as don in marathi see the the quantity can be spelled in any language but the quantity the concept of quantity is same for the brain like i will say in marathi don and in english i also i'll say two the same thing the child is going to understand it whether you teach him or you don't teach him so dot cards 
specifically if you try to teach a child who is already knowing all these things at the age of 3 it's going to be a big failure but when you teach all these things when the child is between 0 to 6 months or 6 to 1 year or 1 to 2 year then it is definitely going to be a plus for you anyways so coming back to the point so dot cards are also important but if your child is not happy with them always innovate and coming back to an important thing please do subscribe to my channel it takes huge efforts for me to wear a good dress put on some makeup and come out and talk to you guys and i'm very happy i do that for you because uh, because it motivates me but at the same time you guys have to motivate me by sharing my knowledge by liking my concept and please do not copy what i'm saying it really 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 is not good you create your own content you create your own stuff and you can sell it but do not use my name for that do subscribe to my channel and bye 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 thank you